In this week's Torah reading, Parshat Ekev, we're given a beautiful description of the land of Israel. Your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with streams and springs and fountains issuing from plain and hill, a land of wheat and barley, of vines, figs, and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land where you may eat food without stint, where you'll lack nothing, a land whose rocks are iron and from whose hills you can mine copper. Moshe was preparing the people for the miracle of domestic life they would soon begin. He mentioned that the scarcity the Israelites endured in the desert would be reversed when they arrived in Israel. It's a place where you will lack nothing instead of the persistent Israelite complaint that they lacked everything. Moses offered the Israelites what leadership experts Dan and Chip Heath call a destination postcard in their book Switch, How to Change Things When Change is Hard. A destination postcard is a vivid picture from the near-term future that shows what could be possible. Leaders need to understand that words alone will not help people change. People need a vision of what success looks like. Good leaders understand the difficulties. Their portraits of the future address the issues and reverse these problems. They paint a granular picture of optimism. But more than any of these motivators, high impact leaders create the conditions necessary for success. A good change leader never thinks, why are these people acting so badly? They must be bad people. A change leader thinks, how can I set up conditions so that these people will succeed. So, what destination postcard do you need right now to stimulate change and to inspire other people?